All right, so here I am with my stage, just left off from the tools. Um, I'm going to refresh this whole stage right here. I don't want to deal with making a new project or erasing every single thing, but if I double tap my eraser, it will all disappear. So I'll do that again. Double tap that, it's all cleared. Um, what I want to start to do is build up some scenes to show off the 12 um, principles of animation. So I'm going to start here with, let's see, let's start off with just a basic drawing tool. Uh, have a color chosen. I want to start off with my first scene, and you'll see right now, by default, just scene one is chosen. Um, I have my scene popping up over here. Um, if you do not have that popping up, um, you can go up to window, choose scene, and it pops up. If it doesn't pop up attached to your side, you can take it and snap it into place there. So here's my scenes. I'm going to select that and call this one title. I'm going to add a new scene. And I'm going to build up a few. This one's going to be straight ahead. Um, another one is going to be pose to pose. And we'll start with that for now. All right. Here are the basics of starting this. I'm going to draw something out. Get the right size. Twelve, um, and that's on my first layer. I'm just going to label this one twelve. Um, I want this to be an animated title, so I'm going to do um, my different words in different layers. And so, I'm down in my timeline, I'm going to select my new layer. I'm going to hit title this one principles, and I'm going to write out principles. You can do the same thing and use the text tool if you like. Um, I'm just going for kind of a hand script type thing. New layer, put of, and write it out here. New layer, animation. And finally, write that out. Ooh, that was sloppy. Not that any of this other stuff is real neat, but 12 principles of animation. And I'm going to do one more, and it's going to be my name. So I'm going to change color for that. So I'm going to click over here, choose black. I'm going to put, change my brush size a little bit. And maybe a little bit smaller. By Mr. Fulton. All right. So all of those are in different layers. Um, each one of these scenes, I want to be um, 72 frames long. And since we're dealing with 24 frames a second, that'll be about three seconds. So what I actually just noticed is that, hey, I'm in pose to pose scene. I just wrote this on the wrong thing. Um, not a big deal because I can take this and I can actually just take that and change my, my name. Oh, I'll put title two. Um, so and I'll just rename this one pose to pose. Now, I can take that and drag it up and put them in the right order again. And since I no longer have two title scenes, I'll take out that. So, there, like it never happened. All right, so now I'm in the right scene. Um, I'm going to add some frames over here. So I'm going to find 72, and I can do that a little bit easier by zooming in. And I can scroll right here with this one. So here's 70, 71, 72. 
I'm going to hold shift and go straight down and I can either um, right click on that and go to insert frame or I can um, press F5 just insert a plain frame on 72nd frame so what it does it tells me that all right those things that I just drew they're gonna stay up there for 72 frames um, and that's it so I don't want them it's not animated I did use a timeline but what I'm gonna do is start to stagger these so that they show up at different times <clears throat> so 12 is gonna show up first I want that to um, start off with right where it's at and when you notice when I select that that layer it's gonna select the objects that are up in that layer on my stage so now I have um, 12 is selected so I'm going to um, work with that one I'm gonna zoom out a little bit now these are all keyframes which means they are set in their place on frame one um, and there's nothing after them, so they're set there actually for 72 frames until I make a change. So I'm going to start making a change. Here's my first frame. I'm actually going to take that and move the 12 off to the side. I'm going to skip a few frames ahead, select that. I can right click and go to insert keyframe here, or I can press F6 on my keyboard. So I'll insert keyframe and notice it adds me another dot. Now I can assign a place for this 12 or that dot. So I have it going from here. I want it to go to here. All right, so here's how it looks now. Not very smooth, but we'll get to that later. My next part, I want to move this principles, I don't want to be there while the 12 is moving around. That's silly. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to drag that over here, and I'm going to, that's where I want it to start, which means it's not going to start until my 12 is in place. So here's my principles. I'm going to take that, I'm going to move it here. That's the new setting for this particular keyframe. I'm going to skip a few steps. I'm going to press F6, insert a keyframe, and I'm going to slide this into place where it should be. So now I have 12 principles. I'm going to go up to of. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to shift that over here. I'm going to move this one from the bottom. So now it's set. Skip a few frames. F6. And I'm going to put this in its assigned place of. Okay, animation, take that, drag it over, and you have to wait till that little white rectangle shows up on your cursor before you can drag it. This one I'm going to do something a little different with. Um, I'm going to start this one with it being zoomed in really wide. So I'm going to go to free transform tool. Notice that I have these control boxes here. I can shift and warp this. I just want it to be a lot larger. So I'm going to hold shift and pull this out really big, really wide. And then that's the new setting for this particular frame. I'm going to skip a few ahead. I'm going to F6. And I'm going to squeeze that back down to size. Okay. Now, looks kind of silly right now. That's okay. We'll come back and finish it up. My name, I'm going to move that. I want that to show up last. So it's going to show up here. Oops, one more. There. This one I want to do the exact opposite. Maybe this one I want it to start off really small. And then F6 that. That's going to be difficult for me to to select it, so I'm going to zoom in and drag that out. Okay. All right. So I'm going to animate this a little bit better now because right now we're just we just have all these different motions and weird movements. 
I could have gone through and inserted a frame for each one and moved that 12 all the way over to that point. Um, instead, what I want to do is take that um, space between, and this is where that comes from betweening or tweening. You have one position, second position. I'm going to fill in the space between. So I'm going to right click, and we're going to use what's called a classic tween. We're not changing the shape at all, it's just sliding over into place. I'm going to choose classic tween. So now, scroll between and it pops into place. Same thing can be done here. Classic tween. This one was a classic tween as well. No shape changing. So now here's what it's starting to look like. Now, animation is not a classic tween because it is changing shape. It gets much, much, starts off really large and then gets much, much smaller. So what I'm going to do is make this into a shape tween. I'll do that and you'll notice that, boom, it slides into place right there. Same thing for my name, shape tween. 12 principles of animation by Mr. Fulton. And it's nicely done and animated. And then this extra space, that's fine. It's just going to be kind of a setting. So 72 seconds or 72 frames is going to be the format we work with for this project. So that's basically our um, title slide. I'm going to press enter on the keyboard. And what I want to do is, let's see if it will play it out for me. There we go. If I want to see it in a separate window, I can control enter and it will play it in a separate window with just the stage. As we build up more scenes, it will also play through the rest of those as well. So that's our title slide.